We are about to do something super exciting. So I planted the first succession set of seeds one week ago. And it's time to see if they have sprouted. I've been waiting to show you guys. I have not peeked at all. So I'm really excited. Let's go look. Okay. I don't know why I'm whispering like it's going to destroy them. I've been keeping them in here so the bottom of the tub doesn't look great because of the color of the soil, but I wanted to be able to bottom over them to keep, teach them like deep roots to begin with. And I covered them with cardboard, so here we go. I'm just gonna take off this first side. Oh, I see a sprout already. Oh my goodness, hi guys. Hello. I can't say happy birthday because I don't know when your birthday was, but it's wonderful to see you. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. My flame star cauliflower is growing. Okay, don't get too ahead of ourselves. We'll go over everything in just a second. So what I'm going to do today is take everything that is growing nice and strong and put it on my shelf and I'll show you guys that. So I have it marked in a video in case anything fell off that way I can see what we've got. So lavender is not sprouting yet. Uh, my shooting star eggplant is not sprouting yet. My midnight moon is. Mm, Brussels sprouts are not yet. Some of these things look a little bit dry, so I'm probably gonna get them some more water. Early jalapenos aren't yet. Orange pepper, not quite. Flame star is doing great. Oh, I did do three per cup, so one of mine did not take. Okay, well, there's another cup somewhere then, so that should be fine. Carnival and pepper peppers did not yet. Peppers honestly take a little while longer though, so this is normal. Serranos, snapdragons, more snapdragons. Oh, there's a teeny tiny little snapdragon sprout right there. More flame stars, all three of them. Good job, guys. We've got celery. Not looking too, too great. Ooh, broccoli, all three, nice. So I'm seeing that my little pieces of paper are starting to mold a little, but I think that'll be okay. Broccoli, only two. My white Corona cauliflowers, all three, very good. Some gold tomatoes, both, okay. Yellow pear, both. Brandy wine, pink tomatoes, both. My cabbages just popped and did something. Um, Cali Wonder peppers, not yet. More broccoli, all right, so we're missing two broccolis. I did plant extra though, so that is five, six, seven. That's exactly as many as I needed, so uh, let's have both of those pull through. This celery was a little low on soil, but no sprout. Um, that is a black pearl tomato, both very nice. Mm, zero on the celery still, so I'm hoping those just take a little longer. I haven't grown celery before. Three on my cabbage here. Um, Caribbean red hot peppers, not yet. Snapdragon, not yet. So the snapdragons must be just days away. Um, this one lost its label. Oh, it was a sweet 100 tomato. Both of those, the cabbage, all three. Cabbage, all three, nice. So, so far with cabbage, we've had a 100% germination rate. With Flamestar, I think we had a like 85% or something like that. And then those two and this one were empty to begin with. Oh wait, no, that one was the sweet, no, this is the sweet 100. That one's empty. Yes, we have three empty ones. All right, so this is the only one we don't know the name of. And it should be right back there. Let's see what it says. Oh, more Brussels. Silly me. Okay, so those just aren't ready yet. Gotcha. So that may have been a little bit bouncy, guys. But here we go. You can see all of the sprouts. And I'm going to get these guys moving because they're ready for some light. That's why they're looking a little bit leggy. I'm excited. All right, here we go.
All right, next thing I'm gonna do is move this mattress. So this whole room is like a catch-all room right now. It's about to get turned into the plant starting room basically. Um, but unfortunately starting and building the garden outside is more important than decluttering this room at the moment. So all of that kind of falls into priority list. Um, so I'm gonna move the mattress and open up some light for our sweet plants. Wish me luck. mistake I just made. I just dumped three cabbages on the ground. Three cabbages! I thought I had moved them, but I don't know the way enough. But it was the tree that hit them. Oh man. Okay, well, the cut broke. It was a terrible accident. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well we're just gonna start three extra today then. Sorry guys. They all broke. So they did not survive. They're gonna go in the compost bin. Alright, time to scoop this up. I'll come back through and sweep this in a little bit. I have to leave like right now. So I guess I will do that when I get back, unfortunately. And our three cabbages. There goes our hundred percent rate. Doesn't actually change that, but still. All right. Uh oh. Well now I'm realizing that I don't know actually which one. Oh. Well, we didn't have any mix-ups before, but now we do. Oh, okay. Either way, two cabbages fell. So one of them. Okay, sorry, there was another tag on the floor and I hadn't read it yet, and so I was like, assuming that it was gonna be two different plants next to each other, both lost their tags, and then I didn't know which one actually died and which one didn't. But luckily it was both cabbage, so either way I lost three cabbages. <laughs> their first day out of the box. I'll give them just some light, some light light today. Um, tomorrow I'll give them like full blast, get it rocking kind of light. All right, so this cup's gonna get reused. I'll sweep the floor when I get back. I'll show you guys how to drill holes in the cups. And that's about it for now. So we cleared out a little bit of space. Woohoo! First thing before I go, I just wanted to show you guys a close up of how awesome these guys look. So exciting. Love seeing green, healthy plants. Oh, little seedlings. I can't wait to eat your tomatoes, especially your tomatoes. And I don't know where that black pearl tomato is, but I can't wait to try that. Oh my goodness, it sounds delicious from what they've described. All right, guys, see you soon. So it is time to start some seeds. Um, I have about 45 minutes until I gotta get to an appointment. So we're gonna try and do this pretty quickly. But first thing we're gonna do is drill the holes in the cups, fill them with soil, and then we'll see if we have time to get to the actual seeding part. Last time I did seeds last week, it took me like three hours, two hours, something like that. So we're gonna try to make it a lot faster. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so we got all the seeds picked out. We need to start some more snapdragons because they have to be done 12 weeks before the last frost and I only did, I think, three cups last week, so we're just gonna do like two more cups this week. Um, cauliflower, I've got my Flame Star Hybrid. Um, we, so I'm, I'm growing four, six CSA boxes plus myself, so I'll do seven more cauliflower, but I'm gonna plant nine. 
um, in case. So I will actually do three cups for that. So we need five cups so far. Um, I might do one more cup with some white Corona cauliflower. It's a 30 day cauliflower guys. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard 30 day cauliflower, but I think that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Um, so I can't wait to grow this. I'm really excited, but it also says it's better grown in the fall. So I want to save most of my seeds for the fall. Um, we've got some broccoli. We're going to do three cups of that. So three, six, seven, eight. So we're at eight cups. Cabbage, three cups of that. So if I do three cups of anything, then it has three seeds each because I'm doing nine seeds total to try and make sure that I have seven at least for everybody. If mine doesn't grow, it's fine. I will feed them first on top. So I'm planting for the intention of receiving seven each week, basically, for the broccoli, the cabbage, the celery, and the cauliflower, um, which is why I'm planting nine in three different cups. And then my intention is to go in, which I probably am about ready to do with these guys, and um, scoop them out and replant them into a different thing. So, so unfortunately, I'm going to need probably a lot more cups. Um, so there's the cabbage, we talked about that. I've got my red hot pepper, uh, Hungarian yellow wax. I don't know why I said red hot pepper. So here's that one, 25 cents from Dollar Tree. I've had really good germination rates from them. I usually use Burpee, um, but Dollar Tree is nice if you see a random variety like these Cayenne Long Slims that I wanted for 25 cents. So grab those. Um, rosemary we're doing today and some thyme. Brussels sprouts. Oh, we're supposed to be counting. Um, we were at six, seven, eight. Um, so for time, let's do one cup. Yes, one cup. And for Brussels sprouts, let's do one cup. So 10. For rosemary, we'll do one. Actually, let's do two. Two rosemary. Nope, we're going to do one. Nope, two. Because this one says 10 weeks before, the time says six to eight weeks before, and we're at the seven week mark right now. So at least with time I can plant one more with rosemary, I'm behind. So we were at 10, uh, 12. We're gonna do one for the hot pepper. Ah, that's 13. One for the other hot pepper, that's 14. Um, plus three for the cabbage and three for the celery. So 17, 18, 19, 20. So we need 20 cups, which is fine because last time I think I filled 37. So first of all, I already have three cups in the bathtub. Plus this one, that's four. So instead of 20, we need 16. And I already drilled 16 holes easily. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, let's fill 16 cups. So I've said before, um, if gardening is my full-time job, I don't need to make time to work out. So I hate that people have to like go work a nine to five. Hey, get out of that. Messy. Um, they have to go work a nine to five and then they come home and they got to worry about their house, which if they were working on the homestead, that would all be involved in part of the day. Um, and if they want to garden, then that has to be their hobby after work. So they have to make time for that. And then they got to make time to work out too and to grocery shop. Well, guess what? When you're gardening, you're growing your own food and you're getting your workout in, so. Go. 
going to pull my midnight moon babies these are eggplants out of the bathtub um and put them on the shelf because they i don't want them to get leggy trying to look for sun so it's time Well guys, I hate to end the video this way and I'm sorry, but I continue to have issues with my phone. Um, I actually swapped to my camera and had my camera, my little photography camera, record me planting the seeds for you guys. Um, and I was just gonna speed it up and throw it in there, but I've had so many issues. It's been hours, hours of trying to get the videos to Google Drive, just completely uploaded so that I can access them on my computer and combine them with the stuff on my phone or even just upload them to my phone. I went to the camera app, tried to download it like that to my phone and said, it's not compatible in this format. So at this point it feels impossible unless I'm just recording everything on one source, which is what I'm going to continue doing on my phone, even though it might take a while and it's an issue until I can afford to get a video camera. This is the best way. So I'm sorry that you don't get to see the seeds but unfortunately I'm just working with what I have and I don't want you guys to miss the next month or two of content until I can get a video camera. So just tag along with me and you know, we'll tough it out together and hopefully I can teach you a lot along the way. So I'm sorry, but have a great day and I bless you all.